My position on campus is I'm the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and uh, I mostly what I do is supervise uh, all faculty. I oversee their work, the quality of the work. Um, I'm supposed to make sure that they're performing up to, up to standards and um, I'm, I'm also responsible for academic planning, uh, new degrees, uh, current degrees, make sure that uh, we follow, uh, you know, we, we're aligned with the University Park in terms of, uh, um, you know, uh, curriculum. And, uh. I uh, came to, uh, to Penn State Berks in 2003 uh, as division head for engineering, business and computing. I, so I was essentially responsible for three areas, business, engineering, uh, and information sciences and technology. I was in that position for about three years and, and I was appointed uh, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs on July 1st, uh, 2006. Uh, and one of the things that I can say with, with uh, pride is that they, they're, they're very good, there's a large group of uh, researchers or professors who are very good researchers and, 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 and excellent teachers. And I have seen research again, productivity increase over the years. And, and I think what you see more and more in our college is that we are consolidating a group of faculty who are here to stay. Uh, we have uh, uh, academic programs that are in high demand. Uh, uh, so there are two possibilities here. One is to uh, to growing numbers in terms of enrollments, that cannot be done because we're right now we're at, at about 90% capacity here, use of the facilities. We can grow in prestige. We, we, what it means is that grow in terms of, of, of doing better what we are doing right now in quality, uh, increasing our research capabilities, and also increasing perhaps raising the bar in, at, at, at admissions so, so that we, we, uh, we can really uh, rely on, on students that have, uh, that have, you know, better backgrounds. So we could grow perfectly in, in our professional programs. I've been a proponent of an industrial engineering degree. Uh, and perhaps we need to work more with the University Park on that. Uh, and, uh, and then, in, you know, in the area of liberal arts, uh, there's a lot of room for growth uh, in that area. For example, we, 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 right now we have six new degrees in the pipeline. We have a degree in security and risk analysis that uh, our members of the advisory board that were in the, in the degree planning committee, they, they actually said that we needed a, a degree in security of information technology systems. And that's where the security and risk analysis degree comes into play because uh, perhaps uh, security is becoming the single most important aspect of, uh, of um, information technology systems. I mean, you know, we're discussing right now a degree in physics, and, and the reason for our degree in physics is that we have a group of five physicists on campus who are really top-notch scientists. And, and we feel that even though physics degrees are known for not having high enrollments. We think that if we can take care of a small group of students that are going to be, uh, uh, um, you know, developed into, into full-fledged uh, scientists, that that might be with the worthwhile. We also have in the, in the making a biology degree, and, and then there, are, there is an Eng there is a, in the in the humanities there is a degree in English literature that we want to launch. And there's a theater degree that, that, that is in the making. The other thing that I, I, I forget to mention, uh, forgot to mention as, as a vision for the future is the, the opportunities in e-learning. Uh, we, we definitely have to move to e-learning and, and incorporate it in our uh, everyday activities. I, I, I am a proponent of e-learning. Whoever can deliver uh, courses high quality with more learning than, than we do right now with face-to-face -face and uh, less expensive using 
economies of, of scale or using a synchronous uh, uh, delivery, that is going to be the college of the future. So e-learning technology is a big piece of, 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 of our college and of any college for that matter.